All right, here we go, here we go. What up, fam? Let's talk a little bit more about the 2023 Harley Davidsons. Let's go. All right, so we got more confirmed news. If you did not see my first video, here's a link to it where we talked about some things that we already know today. We know more things. We talked about things that we expect and things that we hope for. What do you guys think will happen in 2023? Do you see any new bikes coming? Anything you want to see? Anything you've heard? Drop it in the comments below. Please let us know. As of right now, what we do know is that five motorcycles are done for next year. Now, last week or the last video, we went over the two Evo Sportsters that we know are done, which are the 883 and the 48. Those are completely and utterly gone. There may be, may or name, there may or may not be some kind of Evo retro sportster with whatever engines they have left in the factory, but that's a, that's a hope, but that's not something I expect to happen or that I've heard any news of, or confirmation on it. There's three more bikes that are confirmed gone as of today. And these, again, I have sources at the dealer level and at the corporate level at Harley-Davidson. So these three bikes that I'm gonna mention now man, go perfectly with the news that we have confirmed that the 107 engine is gone. First bike that's gone is the Softail Standard. No more. No more entry-level Harley, and I'm gonna talk to that about here in a minute. The other two bikes that are confirmed gone are gonna be the Road King Standard, gone and the electric light standard gone so that's five bikes we got 883 48 soft tail standard road king standard electric light standard all done those three uh bigger bikes that were not sportsers they were 107 engines so that does match up so what are your thoughts on that i want to know please drop a comment below do you think the 107 engine going away is a good idea do you like the road king standard and are sad to see it go are you a soft tail standard guy that, you know, how does it make you feel that these five bikes are gone? Let me know in the comments below. Something very noticeable here. Harley over the last few years has been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And there is more news by the way, stick around till the end of the video. But Harley has been pushing used bikes. They came out with a certified pre-owned program. They, uh, they, I can tell you, cause I used to uh, be a salesman at a dealership not long ago. They very much are pushing toward used bikes. They wanna buy and they wanna sell used bikes. So as you can see, the five bikes that are gone, they're all entry-level bikes. So you think to yourself, hey, what about the people who don't wanna buy a Road Glide Special or you know a Road Glide ST? Well, since the entry-level bikes are gone, Harley is essentially making the used bikes the entry-level bikes. And honestly, given the way, given the market conditions and the supply chain issues and all that, that makes perfect freaking sense to me. I also expect to hear in the, in the future that the road glide standard and the street glide standard will be also cut. That makes perfect sense to me since those came with 107 engines. And what I expect to happen is that the special line, which may very well at this point keep the 114, I expect that to be the entry level touring bikes then the STs will take the place of what is now the Road Glide and Street Glide Special. With the 117 engine and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So essentially the entry level soft tail and above, the entry level non-sportster is going to be the Milwaukee 8 engine at the 114 point. That is what I fully expect to happen at this point, given the news that those five bikes are next, gone for next year. Now go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you want to see for 2023. I think it's going to be a very exciting year for Harley Davidson. Now switching gears a little bit, there is a rumor out there and I fully do expect this to happen. Now there is talk out there as Harley gets away and loses essentially the Evo engine, and the, the 107 engines, the less efficient engines, I firmly believe they will expand the line and the available products with the Revolution Max engine. To that extent, and like I talked about in the last video, I fully expect two, maybe three new Sportsters this year, at least two. And it, there is a big rumor out there that there's gonna be a more entry-level variant, meaning a 975 engine, scaled down features for the Pan America for the adventure touring line so i believe the adventure touring and the sports tour lines will expand uh, i can definitely see that happening uh, 2023 is going to be a big year for harley davidson it's 120th anniversary 
They're hosting a Harley Davidson 120th anniversary big rally at the headquarters in, in Wisconsin. You know, I, I see a lot of things. I expect a lot of special bikes. Uh, definitely a fat boy for sure. Uh, I ex I do expect a classic throwback uh, Evo Sportster, which will be known as the last Sportster. Now with that, they're also going to expand. I believe they're going to expand the electric line. Right now, they have the Livewire One and the Del Mar. Of course, Livewire, we know, gets spun off into its own company. It actually went public, Livewire. So they're all very, very separate at this point. Still owned by Harley Davidson, of course. But yeah, Livewire, I believe they're also going to expand their product offering. They believe uh, electric bikes are the future. I do have an episode coming up on electric motorcycles, a redo, because I did one way uh, a few years ago. The market has shifted, has changed. I don't necessarily believe they are the future. At least not for, for uh, your traditional Harley rider. We'll talk about that. Yeah, I definitely expect an expansion of the Revolution X engine availability or product variety for the Revolution X. The 107s are gone, so I expect to hear soon that the Rogue Light and the Street Light standards are done. Just like we now heard the Softail standard, the Road King, and the Electric Light are gone. So, big, big changes afoot for 2023. Go ahead and subscribe for more updates on 2023. Uh, every time I hear something, I'm going to make a new video. So, updates are going to start coming in fast and hard. So, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. That like button really, really helps us out on the YouTube algorithm. So, if you would, it doesn't really take much. Please hit that like button. If you want to look at the merch, check out iRideClothing.com. Thank you, Voss Helmets, as always, for sponsoring the channel. That's it. That's it.